Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about COBOL vSAM program. So, we have a simple agenda. What we will do is, first of all, we will write a COBOL module and then we will use a vSAM file to access the records which are present in a vSAM file. So, first of all, you must declare the file in COBOL module and assign it to a JCL. Then select the organization as indexed for KSDS because we will be using the KSDS file structure and we will give that organization as indexed as we are going to fetch the records randomly. Then you need to create the KSDS cluster. Then supply the vSAM file to COBOL program through JCL like we have done it for a normal PS file. Now we will supply the vSAM file through the JCL which is going to execute the main COBOL program. Then compile the COBOL module and then execute it. Now let's code and execute a simple program. We will see how to use a KSDS file in a COBOL module and we will access the records randomly. So we, we have one COBOL module which we have used for accessing the record sequentially. Now I have changed it. So here we have made some minor changes. We will discuss them first. In the file control section, previously for sequential we used to assign the organization as sequential. But in this case, as we are using a KSDS file that is a key sequence file, we will give the organization as indexed. Also, uh, we can have access mode as sequential, random or dynamic. But in this scenario, we will not be accessing this in a sequential fashion. We will be doing it in a random one. And for if organization is indexed, then you need to supply the record key. Here we have given the record key as FS key and we have declared FS key in the file storage section in FT entry. So we'll discuss this. Then we have file status that is WS status. This variable we have defined in working storage. Here you can see WS status 9 of 2. So in the file section, like we need to declare FT in file. We have seen this in COBOL as well and we have declared the file here and we have declared the records so first six characters will be of key in in the previous videos we have declared one ksds and the key was of six bytes and after that we have just the description of the key bytes and you can have multiple keys as well so it's up to you then we are simply opening this file in input mode then we are displaying the WS status. What was the f uh, status when we open this file? Now I will add one line here. Accessing KSDS file. So this message will be printed. Now we are opening this file in input mode then we are displaying the status what is the status what is the return code while opening this if you get any error while opening this input file you will you can see through w status so you will get the code google it and you can find what's the reason why this failed so the code should be zero zero if the code is zero zero it means it's a success now what we are doing is in the file we are moving 1004 to fs key and we are accessing it randomly so we haven't done any perform loop we'll just we have passed the key and then we are reading this file here the read syntax is read in file into ws data so we are reading in file and the data will be stored in ws data then we are passing the key here as we have already moved 1004 to fs key so this will be populated by 1004 so the key will be 1004 now the next is invalid key so if the key is invalid then it should display invalid key and if the key is valid like not invalid key it should display ws data and then we are and read and then we are closing this in file so we'll see first we'll compile this and then we'll submit this jcl this is a compile jcl here we have given p files the same module we will submit this here you can see condition code 0 now first we'll check what's there in the ksds file like we have already moved data in ksds we'll open this ksds in data and then we'll see like what is the data what should be displayed in the uh, spool
we just need to browse it tutorial dot point dot ksts here you can see these are our keys 1001234 so it should display 1004 and this is fourth record so when we when we will execute that program the fourth line will be displayed so we'll check this we have already compiled the module now we'll submit the jcl to execute this program compilation and linked edit is done Here you can see the load is tutorial dot point dot load. We'll change this file. Now here we have given the input file dd input tutorial dot point dot ksds and this file we will be using in the COBOL module using this dd input. This we have discussed in GCL as well as in COBOL. So we'll submit this and we'll see the output in spool. Here you can see maxis is 0, so it's success. Now we'll go to spool and check what's the result. Okay. So here the first line was accessing KSDS file. The next one was the WS status we have printed. So we'll open this that simultaneously. So here this was accessing KSDS file. Then we are displaying WS status what is the status while opening the WS input file it is 00, 0 that means it's success then we are reading this so if key is not invalid like it's valid key then just show the data WS data so here we can see this 1004 this is fourth record so it is displaying the fourth data similarly you can perform other operations as well on the file like if you want to update this record instead of displaying you can perform other paras as well so this is all about executing a program using a ksds file and how to use it how to randomly access the records so in the next videos we'll see some basic vsim commands